Hey makers, it's Laura from OpenWorks. For today's making in place, we have a optional two-parter. The part one is making butter. And so this is something that I did as a child and I'm sure lots of you do um, or have done. And it's something really fun to do with tiny humans to get them real tired. Um, but also just a really fun process to watch because you take cream and you make yourself some butter. Um, so for the first part, it's really easy. All you need is a jar. I like to use a big jar, but you can also use really small jars, or even smaller jars like baby food jars if you're working with tiny hands, because this is kind of a little um, overwhelming for small, small hands. Um, but you just need your jar and your cover. And I recommend definitely using a cover that seals tightly. Um, I have a lot of these plastic covers for mason jars, but they don't seal the best for this type of activity. So definitely a metal top with an insert, or a ring with an insert. And then the second part that's off, oh, and then you need your cream. And then the second part that's optional is making it different colors. And so for that, you need food coloring and a couple of different bowls for the mixing, a spoon or spatula of some sort, and a container to put your rainbow butter in. Great. Well, first we're going to make the butter and then we'll do the rainbow portion at the end, um, but I hope you enjoy. Okay, so for the first part, all you need is a big old jar. And again, you can use smaller jars for tiny humans and smaller hands or whatever is comfortable for you. A lid, again, I recommend the metal lids that come with mason jars or bell jars. And then you need some heavy whipping cream. You can go on with your bad self and try whole milk or different things, depending on what you have, but I find that this works the best. Now, you don't really need that much cream. You just whoops, open it, and then you pour the jar about a third full, because the key is, yeah. No? Well, I'm just gonna put all that I have. Well, you don't want to fill it more than a third because you want air and that's what's going to make your butter. So you got your jar with your heavy cream, put the lid on, and this is going to look a lot like uh, the last cocktail shaking one we did. So this time, instead of a fancy drink, we've got ourselves some fancy homemade butter. So we're going to start shaking and then we're going to shake and shake and shake and watch it change. And so you're going to watch it change from this like thick, creamy liquid to a little more chunky. And so for me, I haven't added any salt or anything else, but I'm gonna add that at the end. But for me, this is really just about process, but you can put a little salt in, in the beginning if you want, or you can just mix it in at the end. All right, here we go. Okay, so at this point, I've been shaking the jar for maybe five minutes. Let's just peek and see what it looks like. I don't think it's ready. Ooh, oh, it looks delicious though. Can you see that? Anyway, it looks like this beautiful, thick, frothy, dairy substance, but as you can see, we're getting kind of close to butter. See, it's really good. So, we're gonna keep shaking everybody. But I only think it needs a couple more minutes. Our butter's done. Oh, it's totally done. You see that? It has this beautiful whipped kind of softness. And so at this point, if you wanted to get really deep down with it, you could strain it and kind of get the more of the moisture out and knead it into a block. But for today, we're just gonna keep it whipped and add some color. And I think I might have a helper um, come and help. Hi, Leo. Do you wanna come help? Yeah. Yeah? 
Yeah, you want to help? Can you get, get the colors? Colors? Yep. Crossy. Hey. Yeah. And mommy. Yep. And boots. And a spoon. All right. So. Ow. Oh. Hmm. So let's make some colored butter um, for the rainbow butter. So, Leo, what should what color should this one be? This. Should it be blue? Hi. Fair enough. Hi. All right. So we're gonna take the whipped butter. And we're gonna put a little. In there. Hard. Is that delicious? Okay. Does it look pretty? Mm. So, what color should we make this, Leo? Oh, there. No, nope, keep it in here, honey. There. Oh, there, put it in there. So, we're going to add a couple drops of red. And then I'm going to have Leo. Leo, can you help me? Look at this. You want to add some, you want to make it orange? You want to add some yellow? Okay. Mm. So, add some mm. orange. Okay. I see. Is that good? <laughs> okay, Leo, let's, ready? Mix, 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 mix. So we added some red and some yellow to this one. Mm, it's more of a pinky kind of red. So that's our kind of red butter. And then we're gonna make another one. Here we add. Yeah, we're gonna make another color. Blur. Yeah. No, blur. What color should we make? Blur. Oh, you want more butter? All right. So now we're gonna add blue. Ooh. I think that's the end of that one. Yes, Leo. Thank you. Can you put more in there? No. Boom. So we're gonna mix the blue. And it's more of a light sky blue, so we're gonna add a blue, but that's okay. So pretty. So now we have our red and our blue. All right, Leah, let's grab some more and put it in this one. Can I help? Thank you. Okay, so then we're gonna make this one green. So we're gonna add green food coloring to this one. And then we're going to mix it, mix it, mix it. Right, Leo? Butter. It's butter. Butter. On this. See, it's kind of like painting. Yeah. All right. So now we have green. Ooh. Ooh. We have green. Mommy. Blue. Red. Oh. Leo, can you put some in here, please? No. No? Thank you. All right. Can I have a turn, please? No. Thank you. And we're going to get the... Last of it. Mommy. Put it in our last bowl. Mommy. Oh. Okay. And we're gonna make this one yellow. Okay. Mix it together. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh wow. What is on here? What is under there? No, 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 no. That's the fizz from earlier this week. All right, Leo, can you do me a favor? Can you bring this towel over to dad? Bring it over to daddy, he really needs it. Slash, oh. you need it. Okay. Yeah, give me this hand, Leo. So now that we have our different rainbow butter colors, no. we have our yellow. No. Thank you. We have our green. Oh my gosh. And our red. And our blue. We're gonna kinda pile it in here. And let's start with the red. You're put, it, mommy. put it towards the bottom. Oh, mommy. Thanks, Leo. Put it towards the bottom. Mommy. I'm gonna bang it down. Pretty good. And then we're gonna do our yellow. And again, this is still kind of fluffy cream. So you can definitely make it harder by straining it and by kind of kneading it into a log or a block or putting in a mold, that kind of thing. But I'm just gonna kind of layer it for the sake of layering. And then we're gonna do green. And then we're gonna do blue. And then that's kind of it. And we're gonna put
put it in the refrigerator and keep it in there and use it for butter. And I didn't add any salt today, but you can definitely add salt. So now we have our rainbow butter. So we can add salt, mix it up, put it on toast, things like that. And again, this is more of a fluffy whipped butter, but it's really a fun process and that's about it. So thanks for making in place with me today. Again, I'm Laura from OpenWorks. Makers unite, keep wearing those masks and keep making in place and finding fun and creative things to keep you going during this time. We'll see you soon. Bye.